ChatGPT just launched ChatGPT agent mode and a lot of people are calling this the greatest AI agent ever, but I want to put that to the test. So in this video, I'm going to be giving the same four prompts to both ChatGPT agent mode and one of its biggest competitors to see which one does the test better and which one does them faster. Because if it's not producing a better result in a faster period of time, I don't think we can actually call it the best AI agent ever. And I think the answer is going to surprise you. So test number one is going to be using agent mode for research. So we're going to give it this prompt right here. Your crypto analyst, please build me a crypto recap and bullet points with sources include top performing coins, top losers, major crypto news, whale wallet movements, and upcoming token unlocks. Use live data, cite sources with links, and keep each section concise but insightful. Now, I'm going to ask this to do this right here, and then I'm also going to give this same exact task to Deep Agent over here by Abacus AI, because this has been one of the most powerful AI agents that I have seen before Agent Mode came out. So for me to be able to say that Agent Mode is the most powerful AI agent, I need to compare it against this one. So as we can see right here, ChatGPT has already gotten started actually going through, building this out, and doing the research for this. Now, Abacus asked me a few different questions here. So would you want this to be a one-time report or do you want me to set it up? I'm gonna say one time for now. It says, what should the time frame be? I'm gonna be past seven days. It also says specific cryptocurrencies. I'm gonna say no, any size. And then whale movements, I'm gonna say over 10 million. Now, I really like that this asked me these questions here because if I was to give this task to an employee or to an assistant or to somebody else, I would hope that they ask me some follow-up questions so that they don't go build me out a report that isn't relevant for what I want. We could see that ChatGPT didn't do that, so there is some chance that ChatGPT is going to come back and give us some information that we didn't actually want. But we could actually watch it and see it think through this. So it says, understood, I'll gather live data for the week ending in July 24th, focusing on top performers and losers, major news, whale wallet movements, and upcoming token unlock. I will cite all my different sources and as we could see this is going through and this is doing this and we could sit here and watch this do this if we wanted to the same for abacus we could see that this is currently going through and this is building this out okay so after a few minutes we could see that deep agent is done here but if we come back over here we could see that this still isn't done and this has been thinking now for almost 10 minutes so if we come over here we could see that we got a weekly crypto recap for july 18th through the 24th shows us the top performing coins with the sources shows us the top losers with the sources shows us different major news with each source it shows us different whale moves with each source and then also gives us upcoming token unlocks and what we can do is actually get this to repeat however frequently we wanted to if we wanted to do that now as we could see right here we could see that we literally just say okay please repeat this and this only cost 288 credits which is absolutely nothing when it comes to using deep agent again if we come back over to agent mode we could see that this is still messing around trying to find things and it's getting 404 errors right here so i'm going to say that ChatGPT failed on this one and it doesn't do research as good as something like deep agent now i don't think it's fair to only test it on one use case so the next use case that i want to show off here is going to be using this in order to find leads for your business now think about it you could use this to find leads for your business or to find anything that you'd want on the internet so what i'm going to ask this is i run an ai consulting agency and i'm trying to find leads for my business here's my icp aka ideal customer profile please find me leads and give me an email that i can send to them and we could even take this one step further if we wanted to and have this actually send an email on our behalf but you could see that i'm giving this a pretty lengthy prompt right here to make sure that it actually goes through and does a good job now i'm going to give this to chat gpt agent mode over here we could see again it's setting up its desktop and it's going to get going with this but then also we can give this to deep agent so i'm going to start a new session over here i'm going to give this to deep agent and per usual this is going to ask me some follow-up questions. Now, sometimes it is a little bit repetitive from the prompt that I gave it, especially when you give it a really good prompt, but it does help know that it's actually going to do the thing that we wanted to do. So lead quantity, how many leads? I'm gonna say find 20 leads. I'm going to say, please any of the role. 
Okay, so when it comes to this, we have to answer these questions. So I'm going to say, find me 20 leads. Contact preference, I'm gonna say contact anyone. Industry priority, I'm gonna say you choose. Geographic, I'm gonna say US only. And then company information, I'm gonna say, go as in depth as you need to. So we just gave this instructions. This is going to spin up this agent. In fact, it spins up a bunch of different parallel agents and sub agents. And this is going to go ahead and actually do that. Now, if we come over here and check on ChatGPT, we could see that again, this has got it started working. Now, I did want to come over here into this crypto recap. We could see again that this did this for seven minutes, did 16 different searches, 131 different sources, and failed to actually produce anything. Okay, so for this task, they both actually finished, which is good that ChatGPT agent was actually able to finish something. But what we could see here, this worked for five minutes and it gave us one, two, three, four, five different companies we would be able to reach out to. It gives us the industry and location, employees and revenue, why it's a good fit. And then this also gave us an outreach email template that we could use right here. And it basically doesn't give us anything else. Now, if we come over to what Deep Agent gave us right here, we could see that it gave us 20 different companies, gave us a name, industry, size, revenue, location, gave us a website, gave us why they think it's a good pick, and they gave us several different templates. So they gave us one email template here, they gave us a second email template here, they gave us a third email template here, and then it went through a strategy for finding the different contacts. It also gave us different email verification tools, timing strategy, and it gave us next steps. So if we wanted this to actually take the next steps, we would just prompt Deep Agent and we'd go ahead and do that. With ChatGPT, it's not that clear that it would actually be able to do those next steps. But again, we still have two more tests because there are so many different things that you might try to do with these tools. So I really wanna show off how good they are at doing these things. The next thing that I'm gonna ask this to do is I'm gonna ask this to do research and then create a pitch for my team and create a slideshow for that. So I'm saying I work for a real estate development company and I need to pitch my team on new placements that we should look to build property. I'm gonna change this to places right here. And then I'm gonna say, can you do the research for me to find the fastest growing cities that would be good places for us to expand to. Once you've done that research, please create a slideshow that includes graphs, charts to help make the case for why we should choose those places. Now, I am also going to give this same exact task to Deep Agent over here. Again, we're going to come over. We're going to click into Deep Agent. We're going to open up a new session right here. I'm going to give it the same exact thing. I'm also going to change this to places. And now, again, this is going to ask me a few different questions. I'm gonna answer them, and this is going to get ahead and start doing the research. So geographic scope, I'm gonna say US, I'm gonna say residential, and company budget, I'm gonna say no budget. Timeline, I'm gonna say next 18 months. Now, this is gonna go ahead this is going to do that. Again, we have ChatGPT doing this. Now, a few other things that I did want to call out here. If we come over to ChatGPT, I'm gonna open this up in a new window over here. We could see that with agent mode, we can get this to connect to a few different sources and we could connect more if we come in here, but it's only limited to like these dozen apps right here. To contrast that, Deep Agent is able to connect to anything that has an API or MCP, and you don't even have to go in and manually connect these things yourself. With Deep Agent, you can literally just tell it to connect to X or to connect to Instagram or to connect to your Gmail, and it will automatically go ahead, figure out how to connect with MCP or its API and set that up for you. Okay, so here are the actual results that we have. When we come to ChatGPT, we could see this is still having an issue. This has been working for quite a long period of time and we could see we still don't have a PowerPoint. We don't even have any research. So if we come over here and we could stop this, I'm gonna to reveal to you exactly how long this has actually been working for. This has been working for 23 minutes and has nothing. I don't even have any information from this. But if we come over to Deep Agent, what you'll see is that the first thing that this did was actually gave us a completed data package and gave us 
exactly what we're looking for. All of this information, and then it went through and actually created the presentation. So we could see that it did all this searching, came up with all of this different data, and then it made the presentation, which again, I think ChatGPT would be way better if it actually gave us something and then went into the next stuff. And from here, we could preview this. We could see that this created 14 different slides right here, gave us different charts, gave us different graphs, exactly what we asked for. And this is something that I would be able to use for work. Now, if I did want to edit anything on here, I'd literally just tell it to edit it or anything like that. And then you could see I could export this as a PDF or as a PowerPoint. Now, the final thing I'm going to ask these tools to do is I'm going to ask them to create some content for me. So I'm going to say, please look at the 10 latest tweets from this page right here and write me 10 tweets that are better than theirs, but on the same topics. Also, please let me know if you're able to automate the posting of them, because I think this is how you'll actually interact with these different tools. You'll be asking them to do things and then also asking if they can actually take the next step on that. So this says I will check the 10 and then it goes through and this actually begins to do this. Now, while it's doing that, I am also going to open up Deep Agent and I'm going to ask this to do the same exact prompt over here. And again, per usual, ChatGPT just goes off and starts actually doing it. We could see that this is having trouble actually loading this up, but we could see over here that they can actually do this. So I'm going to do this. Uh, doesn't matter. Match their tone to same target audience three uh schedule them out if you can do it two times a day so this actually asks us some questions over here this is getting set up and this is going to go through and actually think through this as we can see ChatGPT is currently going through and they are figuring out what their latest tweets are one thing that i would note is i don't know why they're down here in february um or even 2024 i don't know why it's looking at that but again let's see what results it actually comes up with. Okay, now both of these are officially done with these tasks, so let's actually compare the results here. We can see that it took ChatGPT six minutes to do this, and it was able to actually figure out what their tweets are. So we have the original topic and the citation, then we have the improved tweet over here. I really like ChatGPT's results here, and then also it answered my question of how do we automate this? We could see that we could log in right here. So ChatGPT can begin to do more things that you probably didn't realize. You just have to prompt it with some type of task, and then ask it if it could do the next thing in the chain and then it will actually show you how to actually get that done as opposed to you trying to prompt it the wrong way and you not actually being able to do it now Abacus or Deep Agent was able to do basically the same exact thing. It went through, it found all of its different research, found all of these different tweets, gave us a bunch of different tweet concepts right here. And then it also gave us at the end key insights from testing catalog that it was able to find. So both of these tools right here were able to complete these tasks. And if we scroll up over here, we could see that this also tried to get us to sign into X so both of them were actually able to complete this. But the one thing that I would call out is that of all of the four tests, only one of these tools was able to complete every single one of them in a timely fashion. Now, as you can see, I don't think that we could call ChatGPT agent mode the best AI agent that exists because Deep Agent has beat it out on almost every single one of these prompts. Not only did it give you better results, but it also gave you way faster results. And that's why I'd strongly suggest you go to the pinned comment below and get started with Deep Agent today because you can get started for just $10 a month. And not only is this going to give you access to the world's most powerful AI agent that I just displayed for you, this also gives you access to Chat LLM, which allows you to access every single LLM LLM for one single price and you get access to their AI engineer that allows you to build out AI workflows, AI chatbots, AI agents, and so much more in seconds. And if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you how you can make money with Deep Agent by Abacus AI. I'll see you over there.